we had a representative in Ivory Coast, he was the leader of all the Satanists in Ivory Coast, whenever he does incantation prayer the compound behind him and the neighborhood always hear the steps of people on their ceiling, as a result the neighboring family behind his place could not bear the steps of wicked spirit on their ceiling as a result they left their beautiful compound and put it in renting. You cannot have peace when your neighbor is a Satanist that leave his body and is always visited by his fellow saucer that will be coming to take him, there will be unexplained phenomena, you will feel people walking on the ceiling and will be uncomfortable, a church that was renting a place in the city had to leave the place and since they were seeking a place to pray they rented the empty compound behind our representative, this was the kind of house that people dreaded because unexplained and paranormal phenomena. Everybody kept away from it. But the pastor was happy when he found the place and the church move in the compound, and when prayer began, our representative called to the hierarchy to inform them that he was unable to do incantation and magic formula because of the church that have move and the compound behind him, their prayer was hindering black magic of this man, some people would not like you because your prayer is blocking their wickedness and witchcraft, when a Christian live in the fear of the Lord and have a sincere life of repentance, and live praying, his presence will bother the witches and satanist, when you keep praying hard in the night, your neighbor the witch will refuse to answer your salutation because of your prayer that is causing destruction, we fight people that we don't see but they see us, when this representative reported about the prayer and praise of this church to Lucifer, the devil told me, Vasco, get the twelve thousand demon and go find that pastor and destroy him. Very quickly we traveled to the political capital of Ivory Coast to destroy this pastor, and landed there in the shape of cats. But whatever means and tool we deployed to kill this pastor was powerless, we sought many ways to kill him but we were unable to do it, whenever the pastor enter a car and bus we sought to cause the bus to have an accident, but we were failing, we caused traffic accident to kill him but in vain, he was leaving in fear of God and prayer. We sent beautiful women of the marine civilization to seduce him but the pastor stood firm, since we were powerless we considered to tell our representative to move out of his compound because of this pastor and his church, when we went back to Lucifer to report our inability to destroy him, in that meeting I saw Lucifer pondering on this issue, and then he laughed, and he said to me messenger, I know what to do to bring down this church and to cause the downfall of this pastor. Brother if you remember when we were fighting a praying family in battle with the brotherhood of witchcraft, when the queen of heaven came down to help us she laugh. The laugh meant that she saw an open door and legality given to her to enter and destroy, which was card game and dice, when Lucifer laughed it was because he saw a doorway a breach. He said I saw how to destroy this church, by attacking their economy so that they won't have money to pay the rent and they will leave the place, Lucifer told me, messenger. You know that this pastor pray a lot, but all the members of his church before coming to attend the church they don't pray, they come to church just like that without praying at home, we will bewitch them before they come to church so that they will commit sin and will come to church with their sin, brother there are sin that happen in your thought and your heart, there are sin that your eyes see, the place where your feet walk, sin that your hand has touch. Before you go to church you must make sure to kneel down and ask the Lord to forgive your sins for you cannot come to church like that with your sins, ask for the blood to clean and keep you, many saints after falling in sins they go to church just like that with their sin in the presence of God, when Lucifer saw that the members of this church came to church with their sins. He told me, messenger this is what we will do. You will land before the church on Sunday, and whoever come to church with sins you will enter his body, we will block the lives of these members and they won't be able to do God work in the church till the tenancy expire and they will leave the place, to allow my representative to work, on that day when the church service began we turned to cat and landed before the church, we were a company with twelve thousand demon, we stood before the church and every Christian that came to church with his sin without confessing we enter in his body to bewitch him, on that day, whoever came to church contaminated in his eyes by television content, whoever came to church and kept in his heart bitterness, whoever spoke ill word, whoever touched what was impure, whoever heard gossip and slandering, we enter in his body, no one is righteous in this world, but when a true Christian fall in sin he confess in the next second. 
when we had enter all the body of all the member that came to church, as the pastor began to preach they all slept because of wicked spirit in their body, when the pastor said we are in the end of the month we need to pay the rent people need to contribute, to his great surprise no one stood up to contribute for the rent because we hardened their heart. They were under manipulation, when you decide to support God work with your money, and then you harden your heart it's not you, for this is the work of demon, when you can no longer pray as you used to it is because of demonic activity. The following month the pastor saw that the church is no longer contributing for the rent because they harden their heart. But there was a businesswoman that had recently joined the church after hearing the gospel, she decided to contribute, when the woman gave the seed to the pastor, Lucifer was watching in the realm of darkness, he told me, messenger, we have hardened the heart of people so that they will not give and contribute, but look at this woman who dare to go against us, we must subject her husband who is a drunkard man to manipulation and bewitchment so that he will shout to his wife in the presence of the family not to come to this church anymore, this drunkard man gathered the family of his wife and told the wife if I ever see you going to that church again this marriage is over, we were watching the whole thing in a huge screen in the world of Satan and we were laughing, let me tell you Christian not to cry when test and trial come to your life for when you cry and when you are upset we would be watching the whole thing and laughing at you, whenever you cry in the middle of battle the world of Satan laugh and the mock you, the enemy that is fighting you is always watching you even if you don't see him, instead of crying worship the Lord, when this man threatened to break his marriage the family convinced the woman not to go to the church anymore, Lucifer told me messenger we have succeeded. As a result the church could not pay the rent for the following month. The next two months, the pastor cried and said you know how we have paid the warranty we have one month left, this place is perfect for us because it is the boulevard it was not easy to find this place, if we lose it won't be good, while the pastor was complaining and crying we were watching in the screen of Satan in the spirit world, we said look how the pastor is crying for money and we were laughing at him. We were watching the pastor in the realm of Lucifer when he was crying, then we saw the business lady that was stopped from going to church she was also hearing the complaint of the pastor through the speaker of the church on the balcony of her building, because she was not living far from the church, the woman was saddened and touched to hear the pastor asking for the church rent and no one was responding, she checked and saw that her husband was sleeping and she rushed to church. When the pastor saw her she said please lady go back home I don't want your husband to cause trouble. The lady said pastor the Lord has touched my heart. The lady paid all the arrears of the rent and went out, as we were watching Lucifer said to us, we have caused trouble to this woman but she does not listen, since this woman continued to cause trouble we will attack his husband and block their economy for her husband was a bank manager. Then we watch on the screen his husband washing and he dressed in order to go to work, when he came out in order to enter the car, we sent him a cobweb, which is a camera, when a cobweb catch you in the street you are identify and monitor in the realm of the enemy like this man who was a top banker in the city, we watch how he went to bank where he work and sat in the office, the workers were entering to get money from his safe to give to customer and bank note, checks and other document. Afterward the man closed the door of his office and drank wine and he began to sleep, when he was sleeping, I and my companion demon took the shape of cat and landed in his office, and we whistled, as a result the safe where the money was kept, opened by itself, we got all the money out and placed it on the table, we stood above the money and we transported the money to the realm of Lucifer, the devil got the money and placed it in the safe design especially for this man wealth. You often get money but don't do anything with it, it's because the devil has a safe where he steal your money and detain it. They have put hole in your hand, what happened is that when bank workers came later to this man office to get some money, when the man opened the safe, it was great astonishment, the safe turned out to be empty, all the cash have disappear, this man screams where is the money gone, he called his secretary and asked who had entered the office the latter replied no one has entered the office since I have been here, the man fell to the ground and began to cry, since we were watching the whole thing we began to laugh, battle will come in your life because the enemy know that your blessing will come as a result of your service, as the battle intensify you must be focused in your service and prayer, you must not cry when things get tough, 
they are watching you in the mirror when you cry and they are laughing. When the authority came they said to this man you have been working for many years you never stole but go and stay at home while investigation is taking place. When we saw this we began to celebrate his suspension, Lucifer said to me don't leave him alone you must bring him down completely, for when you challenge the world of Satan they will go all the way with you, if you are overwhelmed by battle don't cry pray more seek the face of God in all your heart crying is not the solution and it will not stop your enemy, Lucifer said you have managed to get him to be suspended, I congratulate you messengers but you must not leave him alone, you must go all the way with him, for when the satanic world is looking to bring you down, even if the battle began when you were in the womb they will fight you even at the end of your life, the enemy does not forgive and have no mercy, Lucifer told me, this man is suspended, but he has money in his account, I want you to go to his bank and rub all his money that is kept in his bank, immediately my companion spirit and protective spirit join me in the temple, my companion spirit disappeared and landed in the toilet of the bank. I was watching him in the mirror inside my temple with my protective spirit, when he landed in the toilet he took human form I mean he took the shape and face of the bank manager. He took a lot of the money that was in his bank, a lot of money was taken out. Immediately the drunkard man who was a bank manager receive a notification from the bank telling him you have taken this amount of money from your account, when this bank manager saw the message he was in panic and call his wife to come and see, he told his wife, I am here with you but who has taken the money from my account, it was my companion spirit that took all the money from his account, this man rushed to the bank and said I don't know who took the money from my account, but the bank said you came here personally and the bank showed him the CCTV video, in which he saw himself with the very clothes he was wearing because the demon that appeared in the bank in his appearance manifested with the clothes he wore on that day, he was even showed his signature, when he went back home it was night and he explained everything to his wife and his wife said it must be the bank that is sabotaging you this way, I think you must remove all the money from the bank, when the wife was talking to his husband Lucifer called me and said, messenger, I heard this woman telling her husband to remove all the money from the bank, I want you to go and steal all the money left in their bank account, in the morning when the bank opened my companion demon landed in the toilet of the bank, and took the appearance of this bank manager, he took all the money that was left in the bank, the bank manager at home receive a notification of the amount of money that came out of his bank, in order to make sure that no one was taking his appearance, the bank called this banker, but instead of this man phone ringing, it was the phone of this demon ringing because he came with a phone that had the number of the bank manager, the devil is not strong it's our sin that give him strength, when this man saw how all his money was stolen he threw himself on the ground crying, as a result there was laughter and mockery in the world of Satan where we were watching him on the screen, Lucifer told me, well done messenger, but don't leave him alone, you must torment him all the way. His wife said it must be the bank doing this to us, Lucifer said they will suffer they have not yet suffer, messenger, this man has many cars, I want you to follow them and bring this man to the level where he will sell all his cars, because of Lucifer instruction, we were coming in the night driving all his cars all the night, as result in the day these cars were having all sort of breakdown, he began to sell all his cars until there was none left. Lucifer said well done messenger don't leave him alone because he has many houses bring him to a level where he will sell all these properties, in the night we turned to Cat in order to identify the location of his property, and when we found them we painted them with feces, and we sent incurable sickness to all his children so that he will sell his houses and spend all the money, when a child of God is selling stuff to meet his need he is surely under financial attack. This man house was sold at the price we have determined in the world of Satan, no one bought this man houses with the price he had set because we decided the price people were supposed to buy these houses, when people are under value what you have it's not a good sign, this man sold all his car and all his properties, when this man decided to start selling goods to survive, we came in the night through astral journey and we place feces on his goods so that people will stay away from it. He ended up selling them at lower price, we attack this man with sickness until he was filled with debt, he was empty handed.
His wife was afraid to invite him to church because the man threatened to break the marriage if she go to church, hardship and wilderness and poverty conquered him, Lucifer said congratulation messenger, don't leave him, you must take him to the end until he is buried, this bank started to rent a house, but he told his wife, I will not be able to rent this house, it's tough, let us go to our farm and live there. When they were talking their plans and what to do Lucifer was hearing everything because of the cobweb that we had placed in their home, make sure to remove all the cobweb in your house because they are means of communication, then this man saw a church on the boulevard not far from the farm and suggested to his wife to go visit the pastor, the wife said you are the one who stopped me from going to church now you say we have to go to church, this man went to visit the pastor and told him about his life and the trouble that had happened to him. We were watching the whole conversation on a huge screen and laughing, then the pastor told this man what you need is to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the man accepted the Lord in his heart, then the pastor said we can't wait I have to baptize you, when Lucifer heard about baptism he rose and said, messenger, you will not let this man to be baptized by this pastor, you must prevent it at all cost, you must destroy him. At that moment we all turn to Cat, we follow this man and the pastor, we approach the man to hit him with a stick but the stick went through the man because he has become transparent, we shot the man with arrows but these arrows went through the man, we called Lucifer and told him we are unable to reach the man, Lucifer said to me, since you are unable to reach him, summon water spirit that work with you and tell them to turn to crocodile and grab the pastor and this man when they enter the water, Immediately I summon marine spirit and they fill the water waiting for the pastor and this man so that they will grab them, but when the pastor enter the water it turned to the blood of Jesus and these marine beasts ran away from the blood. The man was baptized, Lucifer said, we have failed to stop this man, Lucifer regretted and said messenger you should have killed him when he was still a normal man, what we can do now is to enter the body of the landlord of this compound so that he will tell the pastor to leave his place, my companion spirit turned to a cat and the eld to house of the landlord, he enter inside the body of the landlord to bewitch him, some people think that bewitchment is a wind, it's demon entering people body to influence them, when this landlord woke up in the morning he said in himself, I don't see what that church give me, they must leave my compound, his wife supported him, in the morning this man went to see the pastor to tell him to leave the compound, but when he reached the church the compound was surrounded by the blood of Jesus, and the demon who was in his body could not enter the church, he left the body of the landlord, since the demon who influenced him to come chase the pastor has left, this man heart disposition change, he told the pastor the other part of the compound is empty you can buy it if you have money. Later the pastor told the church the landlord is selling the other half of the compound and it's not expensive, who can buy it for the church, no one stood to take that responsibility but the former bank manager who was in extreme poverty stood, and the pastor was stunned, he said this man is in hardship whatever I get from the church I give him so that he would have something to eat, how will he buy the compound for the church, the man said pastor I take the responsibility to do it. We were watching the whole thing in the screen of Lucifer and were laughing, and his wife was arguing and saying what is wrong with you where will you get the money to buy a compound for the church, Lucifer said I will bewitch this man to give his farm to the pastor so that they will become homeless. He was a liar because it was God influencing the man, this man took his farm document and took a bus to go to the bank, we tried to cause this bus to have an accident but we fail when the enemy is seeking to destroy you he can even kill innocent, when this man arrive in the bank where he used to work people rushed to hug him, and when they saw how he has become everybody gave him money, then he went to his former secretary office and said I need this amount of money but I am leaving you my farm document, when I sell my farm I will pay you the money, the secretary agreed to loan him money, the man put this money in his undershorts pocket and never told his wife anything. On Sunday when the pastor called him he stepped forward and began to count the money before the church. His wife was shocked and he said he must have resorted to occultism past to be careful, the pastor took the money and pray for the man, Lucifer said fear not we will get that money. When the church landlord came the pastor gave him the money and bought the church compound, 
my companion spirit turned to a cat and enter the body of the landlord, at night when he was sleeping the evil spirit took the money and transported it to the safe of Satan, when the money disappeared the wife said you must go back to this pastor how can his money disappear like that it must be an evil money go get them out. When this man arrived before the church the demon who was animating him could not enter because of the blood that covered the church, the demon left his body, as a result the man heart disposition change. He told the pastor you already bought this part of the compound, I want you to buy the other part where you live if you have money, because I cannot find the money that you gave me, on Sunday when the pastor showed the document of the compound he bought. He said the landlord want us to buy the other part of this compound where I live, because he does not want to get me out, this man the banker stood up but his wife grabbed him to stop him, but he said to his wife I want to serve my God, this man made a commitment to buy the other part of the compound, when the pastor prayed for this bank manager who agreed to buy the other part of the compound, brother when this banker stood up. Immediately the Lord God thunder our representative in Ivory Coast who died on the spot, because he was the cause of this man trouble, what happened at that moment is the Lord descended in the realm of Lucifer where we kept the money that we stole in the bank so that this man will be fire, the Lord himself took the money and brought it back to the bank in the office where this man was working before being fire and the Lord took all the money of this man that we had stolen from his accounts and returned it to his bank account, the bank saw the money of this man that was stolen it was returned miraculously, Lucifer said messenger call my representative in Ivory Coast because you are going to the bank to steal that money again, when we call our representative he was not answering, when we look at the mirror we saw that he was dead and people were crying, even Lucifer was surprised by his death. He said go to the bank and get the money, we turned to cat and landed in front of the bank but we could not enter because it was surrounded by the blood, but we saw that when the secretary entered the office of this man who was fire, she saw a lot of money on the table, she was overwhelmed and she called others workers to come and see, this was the money that disappeared in the safe when we stole it, the bank also noticed that the money of this man that was missing in his account became visible again it was precisely the amount that was lost, children of God must learn to call the blood of Jesus and seek the direction of the Holy Spirit, these are the two secret, we were before the bank, we told Lucifer we cannot enter because of the blood, he told us, now follow that man and kill him, when we follow this man we saw that he was covered by the blood and he could not be seen, the hand of the Lord is not short to save, when this man arrived in the bank we tried hard to stop him from entering the bank. The secretary said to him we have been trying to call you but we could not reach you, this money appeared on the table and when he counted it is exactly the money that was lost in the safe, the authority said to this man, we have been doing investigation but since you have come don't go home, sit in your chair in your office, this man was restored to his position. Then the bank informed him that all his money that disappeared from his account was found in his account, we were angry that our representative has died because of this man, and we tried for four years to kill this man but in vain, until I came to Christ I was never able to do it.